Hey folks, <laughs> have I got a vision to talk to you about, and before I do, let's say a quick prayer, um, uh, Lord, let me, um, let me speak clearly and give the description of this vision to the best of my ability what I remember which is quite a lot very clear and may your blessing come upon this message and may many see it and may it bring hope and may it open the eyes of those that are lost those that are walking the wide path, living lukewarm, uh, continually sinning even after they've uh, asked God for uh, forgiveness and confessed their sins. Um, and, um, and there's an urgency here, people. I feel it in the spirit. Um, this vision I got is another rapture vision. Um, this would be my third, and uh, and I think it may correspond to another vision I had um, because um, and I'll I'll go into that in this video as well. Uh, so so let's start. Um, bless this message, Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. So, it started off with um, me getting into what appeared to be a very large moving van, and I was just about to move it because I felt an urgency that I needed to get. I needed to get back to the um, the U-Haul or whatever. I needed to get back to um, the rental agency, um, but then. All of a sudden, all my in-laws and that, that I guess I was helping them move, or, or they were helping me move, I have no idea, I don't know what was going on. They were like, oh, stop, 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 like, uh, there's still, like, there's still a lot of stuff in the truck that we gotta unload, and I'm like, what? And I was just like, okay, so I stopped the truck, and that, and then we started unloading all the truck. And during all this, it was, it was rather stormy, like, very windy, um, like extremely windy and uh, things blowing around and um, it was it was it was kind of scary it was kind of eerie and well anyways I'm just taking my dogs for a walk just 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 so if you're wondering and uh, my my phone is hands-free <laughs> uh, so uh, and anyways so so yeah, so we're we're unloading this truck, and we're kind of putting this stuff just to the side so we can so we can get all the stuff out of the truck to get the truck back to the rental um, agency. And we start seeing these columns, um, like you'd start seeing with like tornadoes and and whirlwinds and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and one of my family members was just like, oh, tornado twister and that, and sure enough, there was, there was like a, a tornado or a twister forming, um, not far from where we were, but I'll tell you right now, I didn't, I didn't fear it. I didn't, I wasn't scared. I, I, I didn't, I didn't fear it at all. And I, I, I felt that there was something else going on. And so, so this, um, so what happened was, um, this, this small, this small twister, it wasn't huge, it was, it was small, like, it was kind of like, probably like maybe, if there's such a thing, like an F.5 or .2, like it wasn't, it wasn't large. But it, it did have it did have some um, some uh, force or whatever it was pushing things around a little bit. But anyways, um, it headed it headed right right at me, 
Like, I mean, it headed right at me. And, like, all my family and that, they're standing around. They kind of move out of the way and that. And and I get, I get picked up. I get picked up in this twister. But like I said, I didn't fear anything. I could hear them calling my name. And I could, I could uh, hear their screaming and yelling and everything. Um, but having had my other rapture dream, um, and what occurred when I basically kind of like looked down and I felt like I was being dropped, um, I kept my eyes, I kept my head looking up and, um, and yeah, so, and I guess I just kept getting lifted up, um, and, and as I got closer and closer to the clouds, um, I saw what, what appeared to be some type of portal, like you'd see in a sci-fi movie or something like that, um, and, or force field, or I, I don't know, anyways, so, I, I go through, I go through this portal, and then all of a sudden, I'm in what I could uh, only ascertain as like a gigantic ship, a gigantic plane. Like I, I saw, I saw many, many people, like as as far as I could see, really, and and we were all we were all like in formal wear. And that, like, I know a lot of people that are getting rapture dreams and stuff like that. They're saying we're in robes and all that kind of stuff. It's like, and and I've I've had those dreams too, where where we've been in white robes. And that. But this was different. I was, I was, I was amongst many other people, and all the men were in tuxes. All the women were in assorted beautiful gowns, and. I, I was I was chatting with a couple of the other guys. I remember them. One of them asking me, "So was this was this is this your first one or whatever?" I guess maybe he was talking about the vision or whatever. And he, and, and I was like, "Oh no, I've 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 had I've had a few. Uh, I've had tribulation dreams. I've had other rapture dreams. I've had destruction dreams. Um, the Holy Spirit and uh, has has really shown me many things." And I was like, oh yeah, same, same, like me, same, same as well, and that, and um, and we we talked for a little bit more, and then uh, and then I woke up, and that was that. But I woke up smiling, excited, happy. Just so you know, it is December twenty eighth, Monday, December twenty eighth. I had this dream, this vision this morning. Okay, I'm in BC. So roughly between 7.30 and 8.30 Pacific time, a.m. So this isn't like months ago, years ago or anything. I had this this morning. That's why I'm saying I felt some urgency. I felt some urgency with the decision. Jesus is coming. He's coming soon. And I'm not putting any date on it. And that nobody knows, only the God the Father, and that not even the angels in heaven know when uh, when He's going to send Jesus to pick up the church. We we just don't know. So I'm not putting any time. I'm not putting any date. Nothing, because biblically written, it's nobody knows except for God the Father. But that was my vision, folks. And so here is the correlation between the vision I just spoke of. And the other one that I had, uh, probably, I guess, pay me, I'm going to say probably about a month ago. So, the one I had a month ago, and the reason I said it kind of correlates, is it was also another tornado vision. Okay? And if you look up, if you search up tornadoes and the Bible and everything like that, um... I don't have a Bible in front of me right now, but, and I'm also driving, um, I was pre I'm pretty sure it was Isaiah that was lifted up by a whirlwind to, to be taken to heaven kind of thing. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was, it was Isaiah that, that happened to. Um, so, so with that vision, 
I was in traffic and just sitting just sitting in traffic and uh, it was it was like total traffic jam like like cars backed up big time and where I live in BC uh, <laughs> one way in one way out kind of where I live uh, that's that's uh, kind of commonplace at times to basically be stuck in traffic so anyway so I'm I'm sitting in traffic and all of a sudden we have this huge I mean this massive like like F3 maybe even an F4 tornado and it's just barreling towards us just coming towards us and again the same thing happened it like zoned in on me sitting in my car and again I it was like I was being told don't worry like like you have nothing to fear and so that's so that's what I did. I, I had a calm. A calm just came over me. A peace. And that more joy. I was like filled with joy and happiness. Not fear. I was like elated. I was just like, whoa! Like, this is cool! Like, I was like, I was like totally thinking. I was like, hey, this is it. This is the rapture. I'm, I'm getting taken up by a twister. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and like, and so... So yeah, and and so I picked up my car, and that so I'm spinning around inside this twister and that and and like feeling excited and and tappy and I was just like woohoo, and I was I was I wasn't scared at all. It was literally I felt like I was in the palm of God's hand, and that and He was telling me, "Don't worry, I got gotcha. you." And that, like, we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride here, and um, and then I woke up, and so um, so yeah, so I'm thinking maybe the dream I had this morning, um, quite possibly was kind of like showing me the rest of the dream, as if I was um, brought up through that whirlwind and had gone through that porthole um and so so yeah so anyways those are my two visions and that and the holy spirit is like really kicking things up in high gear here and um and there's definitely there's definitely a reason for it and um, I know other brothers and sisters in Christ are feeling the same, and as well as all the spiritual warfare and um, the battles that we're going through in the spirit right now um, is tough. But folks, like I said, there's an urgency. And if you don't believe, if you're not saved, the time is now. You need to come to Christ. You need to believe. And it's super easy to be saved. And that. We read in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That's probably probably one of one of the most um, elaborate descriptions of, of being saved. But what it really comes down to is, is believing what Jesus accomplished on the cross. The death for our sins, past, present, future. Him being buried in the tomb and his resurrection three days later, as written in Scripture. If you believe and put all your trust and faith in that belief, you're saved. You're saved. So I tell you, if you're not, if repent, change your mind and heart. Believe in Jesus Christ and what he did for all of humanity. All of humanity. Turn from the sins of this world. Confess you're a sinner because we all are. We all fall short of the glory of God. So we all need to confess that we're a sinner. We all need to ask forgiveness for our sins. And we all need to repent and change our minds 
to a belief in God Almighty and His Son Jesus Christ who gave His life to save us from eternal damnation and hell. Now, some of those that may be coming across this are like, there's no such thing as hell. And it's just like, well, you can't have, you can't have good without evil. You can't have good without bad. And you can't have heaven without hell. Okay? And those are the two places that we go when we, when we end up. When we pass on. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um... So, sorry about that, I just got to the parking lot here in the walking area and uh, and it was just packed. So I had to talk to, uh, make arrangements with my wife who's in another vehicle because I had to work after this. And anyways, so, so that's, that's the reality folks. We, there's only two places. We have heaven, we have hell. For some of you Catholics that may come across this and what the church has told you over the years about purgatory, there's no such thing as purgatory. There's no place where we can like work our way up to getting into heaven and that, no, you need to believe before you die. Uh, you, can't, you can't change it once you get there and be like, oh, oh, hi, God. Oh, oh, hi, Jesus. Oh, you are real? Oh, I, I believe now. And I was like, it doesn't work like that. You need to believe before you pack, before you die. And uh, But Christians don't die. We just start a new life in eternity. For, for in states in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's something to think about too, is that when we perish here on earth, we we go to heaven, we live forever. So doesn't that sound good? And in the light of God, no less. And in mansions and paradise, um, which is another one of my videos that I've put out um, that because uh, I did have, another, have a vision with uh, um, Jesus in heaven and so uh, so you can check out that one if you do. If you like this subscribe um, give a like and till next time um, who knows uh, it could be soon so this could be my last video and um, God bless you all. May you be protected and have safety and health during these chaotic times. And that uh, COVID would uh, be uh, be away from uh, you and your family. And um, and that's about it. Bye for now.